leg day, let's go. So, I always start off with a lot of stretch I'm kind of feeling that day. Um, just I do all kind of different stretches, but sometimes I do a bit of cardio first, like on the bike, like for like 10 minutes or something like that, just to get a bit of blood in there, but just planted a bit of stretching today first. Um, just stretching the quads out for a bit. I do them longer than what's on the clip, it's just I don't want to bore you to death no, just, you know, showing you stretches. Um, for those of you who don't know, this one stretches out, you know, it's kind of like your hamstrings. Yeah, yeah it's mostly hamstrings to be fair. Um, you just got to be very careful how you do it, it's just, it takes a bit of practice, you've got to stretch like your ass in the air almost, that's what you've got to imagine doing. Um, bend over one leg, put your weight on the... You know, the bent leg and then just stretch your ass into there that's all i don't imagine doing and then feel the stretch um it's quite a good one i'm just gonna hold it for a while probably a bit longer than i have um but yeah funnily enough this gym does not have any machines that i've seen so far to train your carbs so i'm just gonna have to start making stuff up hence why i don't actually do any in this video for my carbs um but yeah, they're just hanging off the edge here, just stretch them out a bit. I, I did walk all the way to the gym, probably took about 10, 12 minutes, but... So probably a bit of blood in there, but still warm them up a bit, stretch them. Yeah. This is also good, i just hang off it a bit with one leg. Um, it'll just help you get a little bit more of a stretch. Now this one's good for your adductors. You just gotta bring your feet together and try and squeeze your heels towards like yourself, towards your body, and pull them in. Put your elbows on your knees and kind of push down on your knees. And it's just gonna stretch the inside of your legs, because I don't know where your adductors are. It's like the inner part of your thigh. And it's just gonna stretch that out, which is important because you know, if you're doing any squatting or like any pressing moves like that, that muscle does come into play quite a lot. It's a bit more of a stability muscle, but yeah, it's just good to stretch any muscles around there. You don't want to pull anything. Um, this one's just for the hamstrings again. So, literally just like touching your toes. You can do it stood up if you really want to, but I find that spreading my legs on that one just helps me get a bit more of a stretch as well. I did try and do a bit of a quad stretch there, but my ankle wasn't playing games, so I decided to suck it off. And I did go on the bike just before this clip, so I did warm up and a bit more. So this one, this machine is for training your abductors. The ones on the outside of your thigh. Um, and it's like a bit, bit of your glutes as well. It's like glutes, adductors, it's, it's all around the area. Just give it a Google if you don't know what it looks like. But I always just try and go out fairly quick on this one. And then but slowly, just hold it and slowly bring it down. You will feel the burn on your glutes, like, quite quick. Um, you can go fairly heavy on this one, to be fair. Like, I've never found that lightweight and high reps on this one does much. So I always try and, you know, do a bit of a heavier weight. Um, some, some machines are heavier, to be fair. So, like, the way they're stacked up. There's been gyms I've been to where I can fully stack these machines out and just rep them out for ages. Um, there's ones like this one where it's like just over halfway. There's some. Uh, all of them have been similar apart from like a couple where I've been able to full stack them. But yeah, just hold. You can squeeze it at the top. But always lay it down slowly. The sister machine to that is the adductor machine. So that's the. One that was stretching out before the muscle on the inside of your thigh. Don't neglect training these. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people do, and they just forget about it. And you know, it's understandable because you don't always see it, but you don't feel it. But if you're doing squats or anything like that in your session, if, if you've warmed up your adductors really well, you'll notice a difference in your squats. Um, plus, if you wanted to get you know bigger legs, if that's your goal to look bigger. From the front you know the inside of your thigh being a bit bigger it's going to look a bit wider just just a little tiny bit of a tip there but 
Yeah, always warm these up. There's even when you're squatting, and if you put your hand on the inside of your leg, you'll be able to feel that muscle stiffen up. So it's more of like a stability muscle that does help you, to be fair. Like when you do a squat, it's like quads, glutes, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of your back, but like your adductors as well. Um, so definitely warm them up. Try it again. Squeeze on the in when you're going in on this one, and then let it go down slowly. Um, again, I've never really found that lightweight on this one matters too much. And then wrapping it, it's more of a heavy, moderate to heavy weight, um, but it's more about squeezing on the way up. This one, like, uh, I think I did this is about four days ago to be fair. Three or four days ago, and I can still feel them burning now when I squeeze my legs together. So, you know, definitely a good one to train. Just don't forget about them. Um, you know, if you want to progress in any every other aspect of the legs. Now, this was me testing out whether my ankle could take this without any pain, because my ankle stays pretty straight. It's just a tiny bit of movement, not like squats. So I thought I'd just give the leg press a go, wreck it out of it. Um, funnily enough, this leg press isn't that heavy, hence why the stack looks fairly large. I do at one point put it onto the full stack, just, and it is heavy, but I was just testing out my, uh, my ankle. I don't want to push it too much, but it was feeling good, so I just repped that out. Next time I'll probably just go on plate loaded. We'll see, I might just go a bit lighter on this one and then until my ankle is fully better to be fair but yeah um, go a bit slower than I am on on this to be fair just lower it down a bit slower you know don't let your ass come off the seat you know, general rules of you know, leg press really it was tiring me out but that's why I'm locking them up but... if you want to focus all of it all like the pressure on your quads Try imagine when you're at the top of the movement, so there, rolling your toes upwards. So uh, all the pressure is in your heels. For me, that always put a bit more emphasis on my quads. Um, there's different places we can place feet on these things. You can go wide, you can go low, uh, you can go high up like I was. It will work a tiny bit to do like different parts of your legs, but. It's all quads, really. Hamstrings here. I do like this machine. No, I, I like this machine. I don't like the bit that the, your feet go onto because it rolls down. It's like so. I'll start off there, and it feels like it's going to take my shoes off at the bottom. It's, like, <laughs> it's a weird one. It just rolls down your feet. Really annoying. But um, on the so a little tip on this machine. Not a lot of people know. And you can do this whilst you're on a, a lying hamstring curl as well. Is when you are doing it, so do the opposite of what my feet are doing here. So point your feet forward, like away from you, and that will completely relax your calves. Which, if you look at my calves in the clips, they're actually coming to play a little bit, they're tensing up to try and like drag the weight down. If you point them forward and relax, it just relaxes your um, calves. And it puts all the emphasis and all the strain on your hamstrings, which is what you're there for. You're not there to train calves at all, are you? So give it a try. It will make it harder, so you'll have to go a bit lighter. Um, but when I've done that in the past, it makes a hell of a lot of difference. You can't ego lift it as much, but <laughs> I suppose that's kind of a good thing. I feel like hamstrings is one of those things where you can, you can kind of burn out on. It, you can keep going, like you can go so long on things. But, you know, you've got to learn when to call it quits, otherwise you're going to feel it the next day. Move on to the next one, is it? Oh, there, that was it. Uh, just a 
think I just fi I think I finished on this. Yeah, I finished on just uh, burning out with these quads, um, just leg extensions. It's like a moderate to heavy weight, but my legs were already slightly cooked at this point, so it was just a burnout finisher movement. But again, just try when you're starting off, just go up a little bit lighter to moderate weight and get oh, kind of go for a weight that you can get 10 reps out of, I'd say 10 to 12 reps. But comfortably without swinging, without your ass coming off the seat, without swinging like mad. Once you've like kind of mastered that weight and you, you know you're going up, you know how to control it. Then you can kind of get the eagle lifting in there. You can come off the seat, you can swing a bit more. I'd say get a couple of uh, sets in that are nice and controlled first. That's what I normally try and do. Um, and then on like the third, fourth set, or whatever, if I'm going more, I'll kind of eagle lift it. But yeah. Peace!